<laughs> yes. Today, ah, this is a little bit dark. Uh, it's because of outside dark. I hope you are seeing me. Yes. Today, I know what I'm going to talk about today. Maybe I can still talk about one other before I leave. Is a um, glycolic acid. <clears throat> what is glycolic acid? Glycolic acid is acid that is derived from beets, beetroot. Yes, beets. Number one is from sugar cane and beets through fermentation, through the chemical process they have done, done through the fermentation. But that is what they are derived from. And this glycolic acid, it is very, very good for you. It makes your skin soft. It belongs to the family of the acids called AHAs. That is a alpha hydroxy acid. I hope I am correct. Yes, is alpha hydroxy. Yes, hydroxy acid. That is number one product here on these products. It is AHA. You can see it virtually in every product. Different depends on the formulator or the company. You can see it in creams, in lotions, in serums, in soaps, in everything. It is number one anti-aging. What does it do? It fights aging, fights wrinkles. Number one, let's begin up, is, is an exfoliator. What, is, what does it mean? When you say something exfoliated, that is, it removes the dead skin from your body. Because every day, the, the, the skin to you, you know, the skin dies, yeah, we shed skin. So all those dead skin, the accumulation of it, that is what making our skin to be very dull and not bright. The accumulation of the dead skin. When we are using the soap, the creams that do not have all these things. So the accumulation of it makes our skin to be very, very dull. So what this glycolic acid does, is to remove it, is to exfoliate it. When you want to exfoliate, which some people call scrub, which is still good, is still the chemical name. So when you say scrub, you can scrub your body. You have two ways of scrubbing, or three ways of scrubbing. Okay, two ways. You have the chemical exfoliator, you have the physical exfoliator. The physical exfoliator includes your sponge. I might not remove it very well. There are some sponges, there are some sponges yes, that are dedicated to like exfoliating alone, but don't use it on your face. You can use it to exfoliate. Then you have, yes, then that's apart, the, the physical one, apart from uh, your sponge, which are using to remove the dead skin after you put your soap or your body wash or body gel or your, any, any cleanser. Cleanser is soap. It's just another, Another name for so that is cleanser. What do you use soap to do is to wash your body. What do you wash your body for? It's to cleanse your body. So whatever cleanses your body is called cleanser. So apart from that, you have scrub, which is physical. As we're talking of a physical exfoliator, these scrubs have uh, some natural things like um, fruits and all those things combined together. Now whatever I'm going to, say, I'm going to say about is about natural ones. You can start so We will recommend that you can do at home if you are if it's convenient for you. But all these some physical scrubs, they have this uh, fish, they have this micro beads. I use it to scratch your body. It's not going to like too much under on your body, but I don't recommend physical scrub all the time unless if you know that you can use it. It's good for your body. Now I would prefer chemical exfoliator. So that physical scrub, you have sugar scrub. I was when I said. I told you that sugar, uh, glycolic acid is derived from, uh, is a uh, sugar, sugar cane derivative. Yes, that's something you derive from sugar. It's the bright product of uh, sugar cane. And sugar cane is used to make what to make sugar. It's not only sugar cane, there are other things that can use to be made, uh, that, that you can use to make sugar, that the sugar is made from. But I would say number, number one of them is sugar cane. So sugar cane, number one, if you don't have money to buy scroll, 
you can take sugar at home. Yes, take sugar at home. Put small, um, let's say, lime, lime juice or orange juice, and mix, mix everything together. Use it to scrub your body. If you're doing it, because maybe twice a week, you have not been, if you've not been scrubbing before, twice a week or twice a week, you're going to see the difference. Then when you have the money, you can go and buy sugar scrub. Physical, that's, it's as what you want. You also have a salt scrub. I'm, I'm not going to talk about that one today. I'm going to talk about glycolic acid. That's why I mentioned sugar. And when you now use that sugar, when you use the sugar scrub, you, you used to before the sugar, the sugar scrub. What does it do? It's, it draws water to your body. You're going to feel your body. It's going to be very silky, very smooth, and everything, very, very, very soft, yes. If you have dry hands, too, you can do that. And exactly that is what glycolic acid does. But glycolic acid molecules is very small. It can easily enter your skin. So for the skin of color, much is not better, okay? Let me finish with what it does. Apart from, it draws water. That's what called a humitant to your body. Number one, I told you that it exfoliates. It removes the dead skin. And how does it do this? When you have it in the lotion, when you have it in the cream, the, 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 the chemical exfoliator, when it gets to your skin, it's not, going to, you know, it's not going to drag your skin. When it gets to your skin, it's going to dissolve the dead skin, the oil that is binding the dead skin together. You know, we have when you have, if you like, you have dry skin and all this thing, but you still have this oil, which is called sebum, which our skin produces naturally. But when you have oily skin, our the oily skin means that your body produces more than necessary than you have because we need oil. That's why when you have the the that's why the people with oily skin, yes, their body produces more than it is necessary. So that's why you can see it at the season. I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not really powder, and you can see I have oily skin. Yes, very oily, very oily. So it's when it gets your skin, it's going to dissolve it, and you're not going to notice it. So that's why I prefer the chemical exfoliator. And one of these chemical exfoliators, number one is um, glycolic acid. So it's going to remove all the dead skin, then the hyperpigmentation is working for hyperpigmentation and for pigmentation also. And it fights wrinkles because when it removes the dead skin, the new skin will come up, your wrinkles is going to be less visible and it's, going to, it's not going to pile up, yes. And it's going to draw, if that is, I'll finish with this later. It's going to retain moisture to your body, to your skin. That is humitant. Apart from the exfoliating, being an exfoliator is also a humitant. That means it's going to pull in water to your body. It's going to reserve water into your body. If it is inside cream, it's going to seal it. Yeah, it's going to draw water into your body because when your skin dries, it's going to be noticed. It's not going to be um, very attractive. Dry skin is not attractive. You can, you can have oily skin and your skin can dry. Yes, because you need water. That's why they ask us to be drinking water. Water, it is very, 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 very important. Apart from detoxifying our body, it, it detoxifying our skin is also very good for our skin also. So that's what um, glycolic acid does. It's purely an anti-aging. And it removes sunburn, which is part of pigmentation. And also, yes, it fights acne. It fights a... Uh, um, which is, once you look at the, the technical name, microbes or yes, antibacteria. When you have the higher concentration, you put it on the spot, it's going to dry it out. Like for this cream now, you see that it says it fights pimples. Yes, it, it fights. That's in your skin and protect it from the sun, skin before, skin after. It fights pimples because the combination and vitamin C, yeah, it talks to fight the pimples. But alone, sometimes you can see the sports treatment or the creams that have um, uh, glycolic acid. Yeah, it's, it stops it, it fights uh, 
pimples, it fights other bacteria like that. But do you know that for us, when you have much, it stings your skin. That is why for those people that are using missing cream, be careful. And it's lightens skin also. You know, when something that regenerates your skin faster, it also lightens you because the fresher skin, the new skin that is coming up, is going to be fresh, is going to be very attractive, it's going to be lighter. Yes. Because and it's going to stop melanin. It slows down the production of melanin. So that is why all those people that are mixing cream, they put more. And we, the skin of color, when we have issue with our skin, we burn. Yes. If you have somebody that is very fair, very fair, 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 that is closer to white people around you, just check. They will have some bone. But if you have fear like me, if you have brown color like me, yes, you tend to have hyperpigmentation. Your pigmentation is going to be very visible because we burn easily. Like those people are very fair. So when you see Caucasians, what do they do? They can use glycolic acid at 12%, at 15%. But we, we can't do that. Because their own skin, when it burns, it just removed like that. But our own stays. And when you say remove, it's just going to remove like that too. When they're, going to, when they're using the right products, everything is going to fade, 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 and fade. But unlike us, when we pigment a lot, we burn a lot. Yes. Their own, at over time, when that thing that is making them burn, if they stop it, it's not going to be there. With the right uses of them. Um, Correct ingredients is going to remove, it's going to take the move like that. But that one instead of the movie is going to fade and it's going to take time little by little. But here is the problem. Please want to use glycolic acid, not the percentage, and make sure you don't use above maximum 7%. Don't use above 7%, it's going to burn you. Then if you are if you have darker skin tone. I would say 2% or maximum 5%. And what they use it for? They use for the if you have black knuckles, because the skin on our knuckles, whether knees, uh, elbow, um, fingers, very tough. Is that the skin that is very tough. So what they use, that is why when you see knuckles cream, you have a lot of glycolic acid there. Yes. So that's why you must trust Patronize a brand that you trust. All these brands, um, most of these. These brands, yes, they have reputation. I'm going to look at some creams that I know that you can trust that, um, that are good for you. Like, we all know ordinary products. That is what they call ordinary products. Ordinary products is a brand. Yes, this is. This is one of them. This one doesn't have a glycolic acid anyway. But they have their own glycolic acid and it's 12 percent. You have the one of seven percent. It is called Tony. You have the one of uh and it's one of ten percent, there's seven percent, and I would say you should use the one of five percent. Much is not better. No people are using people are running from hydroquinone. It's not really hydroquinone is bad, but two percent maximum, it is what is recommended when you want to use hydroquinone. But the problem is when you stop that hydroquinone usage, the, your pigmentation is going, is, coming, is going to come back. That is why people are recommending alpha abutin, which is very safe. I'm, going to, I'm still coming to talk about alpha abutin, but today it is glycolic acid. So don't say, ah, I want that 12%, you're going to spoil your skin. Please don't use Let's don't use above seven. Seven is okay for you. If you want to use above, go and do it under, go and meet your dermatologist or your cosmetologist. The certified one. Don't go and use, don't go and use the one that, that, that is not certified. Because those ones they understand different chemicals and they know it's not because water is good for your body, you over drink, it's not it's going to affect you. Because water is good for you, you are going to drink a drum. <laughs> no, it's not good for you. Because lacolic acid is good. You are going to overuse it. It's not good. It's not good to good for you. So make sure that you are, good, you are not going to overuse it. And when you want to do that ordinary any glycolic acid, please don't use above seven percent. And make sure you don't use it every day.